In the absence of significant external factors, humans tend to walk about 1.4 meters per second or five kilometers per hour. Although humans are capable of walking speeds of up to 2.5 meters per second or nine kilometers per hour at a comfortable level, humans typically choose to use only a small range within these speeds. How fast you walk can be used as an indicator of overall health. Our emphasis will be on the 10 meter walk test, which is a performance measure used to assess walking speed in meters per second over a short distance. Several variables contribute to individual differences, including age, sex, and height. Walking speed can also be termed gait velocity. Our objectives in this session are to focus on the materials needed for the walk test, provide the instructions for calculating the walk speed, provide an overview of the 10 meter walk test, and review the norms. To administer the walk test, you will need a stopwatch, a tape measure, two small markers to mark the distance, and a calculator. The setup includes an acceleration zone, a walk time section, and a deceleration zone. Place a cone at the end of the acceleration zone and at the end of the walk time section, specifically 10 meters. I will say ready, set, go. When I say go, walk at your normal, comfortable speed until I say stop. You start the timer at the starting point and stop the timer at the end of the 10 meters. If possible, time the walking speed three times during the assessment and develop a mean walking speed value, which will provide a more accurate estimate of actual self-selected walking speed than a single trial. To calculate the gait velocity, it's total distance divided by time. In our particular example, it would be 10 meters divided by 7.01 seconds, which would give a gate speed in meters per second of 1.43. Walking speeds are noted by age in both meters per second and miles per hour from age 20 to age 89. According to walking speed, the sixth vital sign, an average of less than 1.3 miles per hour, there's an increased risk of hospitalization. Moreover, an average of, of above 2.2 miles per hour equals a decreased risk of hospitalization. Our objectives in this session are to focus on the materials needed for the walk test, provide the instructions for calculating the walk speed, provide an overview of the 10 meter walk test, and review the norms.